Michael Spavlidis, and I like basketball! Welcome to 5 Minutes with Dan, starring Pavlos and Angela Pavlidis, where you get to spend a few minutes with the smartest and coolest kids in the whole world, and they're dead, too. And now, here are your hosts, Pavlos, Angela, and Nick Pavlidis. Who? Who's ready for hey. five minutes with Dan? Me! Okay, hey. let's start the show. Hey, what am I, rotten cheese? Nope. Um, no. No, I'm just a, I'm the You're guest. A Christmas tree. I'm a Christmas tree. All right, so we've or got. Are... What? I am dad. No. I'm dad. You're just I'm dad. Chicken, I'm just dad. All right, so we have a fun show today. So we just did two episodes in a row. One where uh-huh. we talked about how to have a fun Happy holiday. New Year! Yeah, I hope you guys had a great Happy holiday. New Year! And are looking forward Merry to an Christmas. awesome, <laughs> an awesome new year. We are at a special time in the calendar that only happens once every ten years. Pavlos and Angela, do either one of you know what that special time is? No. No. How about you, Ange? We are Maybe. entering a new entering a new decade. decade. Yes, we're going from the the teens to the twenties, and Wait, Angela. But Already born for a decade. Pavlos was alive for the entire decade. He was born in 2009. Hey, he wasn't born for a dozen. He wasn't born for, he's not, hasn't been born for a dozen years yet. And Angela was born in 2011. So she was, she's not yet lived through an entire decade. She's, well, how old are you now? 40, eight. 48, 48. No, yeah, so, eight. No, I said, yeah, I said 40 and you just, just eight. Oh, just eight, just eight. Okay. So Wait, 40, Angela, just eight. 40, just eight. 82? Pablo's, she's 82. She's 82. You're 82 years old? <laughs> no. You move around pretty good. <laughs> All right. So we Wait, have a you're fun. You're one? I'm you one? You move around pretty good. <laughs> pretty good. So we have a it's fun episode good. today. We have an episode where we're going to talk about looking back at our favorite moment not from not. 2019. Hang on. And each of us are going to share what a favorite moment. Say, stop, hey. stop, stop. Wait, wait, wait. We got to introduce it. Joke of the week. <laughs> What did zero say to eight? What did zero say to eight? I don't know. What did zero say to eight? Nice belt. Because oh. if you just take a zero and then put a belt around in the middle, it makes an eight. Yeah, if you if it squeezes wah, the middle of it. Wah, no. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. <laughs> no, yes. man, just wah, wah, wah. Yeah. yeah. Either way, it's fun. All right. So knock, now Ange. Ange, Ange got the knock knock joke. All right, Ange, go. Knock knock. Knock knock. Knock knock. Knock knock. Knock, knock. Knock, knock. We're, I guess we're both knocking, and Pavlos is not being a very nice host. because he's not. Oh, here we go. Knock, knock. <laughs> knock, knock. Who's there? Uh, who's there? Ben. Ben. Ben who? Ben, ben who? knocking for 20 minutes already. Let me in! <laughs> wah, wah, wah. wah. <laughs> All right. Knock, dun, knock. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah. Wah. All right, so we have a fun episode today. We're each going to share one of our favorite memories from 2019. Some of us looking way back, others thinking just a little bit back, and then me, so some of us, and way back in the year, Pavlos, a little bit back, and then me, something right now, and a little bit in the back back of the calendar in 2019. Going to the high five tunnel. Yeah, but we're not there yet. So yeah. first, we are... Hey. <laughs> um, well, like I said, I bet you nobody can guess what Pavlos is, is going to be. He's really excited about it. But first, we're going to talk about what? Ange, the resource of, of the week. week. All right, Angela has loved this hey. resource. And right now when we're recording... Said it. Yes, but right now when we're recording, we are still with our favorite it, little elf. But when you're going to listen to this... The elf will have gone, right? Because it's after Christmas. So, what is the resource of the week? The elf? On the shelf. Angela loves our elf on the on shelf. On the last video that we did, um, I told you where she was. Yes, so, she, check that one out. Yeah. So, you could say where she was when we were recording. So, anyhow. So, if you have an elf on the shelf... It is really fun because it, you can get it at the store and then you, it's got all sorts of... Ange, why don't you explain how it works? So, um... Once you get it, you like open it up and take it out of the wires. And um, once you name it, it got its magic. So don't touch it after that. The kids, yeah. And then what? What happens? It, it. But sometimes it falls. But if you um, if um, sometimes your mom and dad might be able to pick it up. 
Yeah, so we have and fun with our elf on the sometimes shelf. Sometimes it's all the time. Yeah, so that's okay. So Angela loves the elf on the shelf. So if you don't have an elf on the shelf, or if your elf on the shelf needs add. a friend, you can go to five minutes with com slash elf and you can on grab the one. Shelf. Um no, just five minutes with com slash elf. On the but shelf. And then you can get it on the shelf. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so all right. So now we're gonna talk about no, our no. favorite no. things from 2019 as we head into 2020. And who wants to go first? Me. All right, Pavlos wants to go first, so Anne, share with... I'm just kidding. Go ahead, Pavlos. Doing the high five tunnel at the Celtics game! Uh, okay, so... I guess nobody could understand. Yeah, I don't know. Did, could anyone hear that? Doing the high five tunnel. I think, Pavlos, we might need a little more energy. No, okay, so... Find more uh, energy. No, 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 no. <laughs> Doing the high five no. <laughs> <laughs> So, Pavlos, whenever I play basketball with him, Wait, if he's... Wait, you're doing it, the high five? Yeah, he likes the <laughs> the Celtics game, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, so the high five tunnel at the Celtics game. So this year we got, no uh, we made it up the waiting list because we're big sports fans, and Pavlos especially basketball. likes basketball. Basketball. So, so we have a little bit of a season ticket type of plan for the Boston Celtics. We got a season well. Tickles. Thingamajig. Yeah, we got the worst seats, the seats way in the back, not the worst seats in the house. We got the, the worst seats in the house. We got, way, way, way yeah, way but in the back. they're all awesome. It's just great to be there. Oh, yeah, so, just, um, so, hang on one second, Ann. So, we got <laughs> seats upstairs, a couple rows from the back. We got to enjoy time and still see the game. And it comes with some perks. And one of the perks was that Pavlos and Angela got to do what's called the high five tunnel. So, pa- Pavlos, do you want to tell people what the high five tunnel is? Go ahead. What did you get to do? You high five the players. Yes. Before the game, they line you up on the court. So you're there standing where the basketball players Sam, play. I made a hand and, sandwich. <laughs> and, um, Your hand. Yep. Right. And then the pl- when the players come out, they give you a high five and then go play the game. So Pablos got to high five all the Celtics this year. So that was his favorite moment from 2019. What about you, Ange? It's not about that, but I want to say something since we're speaking about the Celtics. Um, so... One of the times we went, there were these, um, a dog, and then there were a person, and um, the person taught the dogs, I think, tricks uh, with frisbees, and um, when in some of the dog, in both of the dogs, um, jumped on the person's back and caught the frisbee, and they like um, jumped up and caught the frisbee in the in the air, and there was like two dogs that did it, except one at a time. Yeah, one of the halftime shows was a guy playing frisbee with dogs and doing tricks with the dogs, jumping, weaving in and out of his legs, uh, jumping up and getting caught by the guy. Really, really talented dog and really, really talented guy. That was really cool, huh? But Bob, yeah. One of my friends in the jet blue flight flight through the other slam dunks. Yeah, I think yeah. Aunt trained a dog, and I think its name's Silly. Yeah, and um, I think. And it can dial nine one one with its pause. That's awesome. That's very, very, very good to have around. All right. So, Ange, let's share your favorite memory from 2019. What is your favorite memory? Going where? <laughs> to going to Dadney sleep. Dadney World. Dadney World. Dadney World is a theme park I set up in the no. She like <laughs> Disney, Disney World. World. Yeah. Jinx. She, we have a dink. You oh, can't talk for the rest of the well, now, Jinx, you owe me a soda. A soda, yeah. I'll get you a club soda, soda no, water. Oh, give me a sprite. <laughs> so we went to well, I I was speaking at a conference earlier this year in Orlando. And What's Orlando? Orlando is where Disney World is. Who's Orlando? In Florida. <laughs> and Angela, Pavlos, and Mom said, oh, we'd love to support you at your conference. Well, I think we should <laughs> tag along. And uh, did you guys come to the conference? I wanted to. <laughs> Pavlos wanted to because it was a podcasting no, conference. And and by the way, Angela and Dad Mom wanted to go to Disney. So guess what happened? They I went to, to Disney. No, no, yeah. no, no, no. Nanny wanted us to go. Yeah, and they Disney. went with Nanny, and that because was fun. we had a great time. We loved our... Um, there was three days that we went, and there was four th- theme parks. Parks, and we only went to three. Um, oh my goodness! We wish we got. Oh, no. we, we wish we um didn't have to go to one of them because they didn't have any roller coasters, and roller coasters are our favorite rides. <laughs> and um, and the other one that we didn't go to had a hundred roller coasters. Yeah, so and, they didn't go to. And it, there's this run roller coaster that went straight down. Yeah. Straight dun 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 down. <laughs> All right. Daddy's 
<laughs> All right. So my favorite thing. So what? Before I say mine, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. All right. All right. My favorite thing, before we get to it, I want to encourage you, before the year ends, everybody listening, I want to encourage you to talk, take a moment and talk about some of the fun things that you did, because that's why we're recording this episode, so we can take a moment and say, you know what? I really enjoyed, I really enjoyed this part of the year, and I liked doing this, and I liked doing that, because then you can start planning new things just like that so you can have even more fun together in 2020 so my favorite thing pavlos do you know what my oh pavlos is pavlos is taking a break and you want to tell people what my favorite thing is because i already told the kids it's coaching Basketball. basketball and we had an episode last year about me coaching basketball where i didn't know what i was doing because i never really played basketball but i learned and i committed to doing hello, hello pavlos is back I got all right, so I, I didn't. Was getting a drink. We talked about how I'm really he Coach YouTube because drink. I had to learn all yeah, about coach, coach YouTube. <laughs> yeah, Coach YouTube. But we had a lot of fun last year. But also, Coach person who gets players to talk to the team. Yeah, but also so Coach players. To, yeah. So last year, to, you guys remember who we got to to send a video for the team? Brian Scalabrini from the Boston. What? He he's the he used to play for the Celtics and the Chicago Bulls, and he's the coach of. Uh, not the coach. He's one of the announcers for the Celtics. And this year, who sent a message to the team? Taco. Taco Fall. Taco and Fall. And Ennis Cantor and yes. maybe Grant Williams. Yeah, Taco Fall has sent well, one. Um, Ennis Cantor has sent one. Ennis Cantor, Taco Fall gave lots of really good advice for the kids. And what was some of the advice? If someone listening and plays basketball, what did Taco Fall from the Celtics talk. say? Talk. He said, talk to each other on defense so you all keep track. And he I'm goes, talking. have fun. Talk, um, talk, play talk. hard, no, right? he said, just say the word talk. Talk, talk, okay, talk, 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 All right, guys, guys, guys. And um, what did, so Ennis Cantor said, be good teammates. Ennis Cantor sent a video from the team playing. How cool is that? Cool. Cool. All right. Uh, see, he said no. to have fun. Really cool. Really cool. All right. So I have fun coaching basketball because I get to learn new things. I get to spend extra time with Pavlos and even Ange. I was joking with Ange. I want her to be our motivational speaker and come in yes. and say, boys. Today you come into the court. No, no, I thought you said today. Yeah, and tell you work hard and you, kick butt. <laughs> no, I said today you walk into the court, Mia. Yeah, yeah, basketball yeah, players. Yeah, you usually no, say yeah. today. Yes, yeah, yes, today. Dad, you when you speak. come into the court, you will arrive a group of oh, young yeah. men. But when you leave. You shall be champion. Champion. No, yeah, this well, is how it should be. Today, you come in as the court undefeated. When you leave, you might win or lose. But either no, way, no, this is yes. how it should be. Today, you will lose or win. No, that's this true. is how it should be. Angela, that's a very accurate this prediction. This is how it should be. This is how it should be. Today. Today. It's practice. Oh, that sounds very inspirational. <laughs> yeah, so we we learn. No, 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 we had. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Today, have fun. Yes, have fun. We learn. We have fun. We we're, when we're good teammates, a lot of good things happen. Today. And at the end of the the game, if the score has us higher than the other team, great. If Our not, champion. that's okay too. So, Ange, do you want to say something? Go. Yeah. Speaking about basketball. Yes. Speeches, thingamajigs. Yeah. Today. You you should say. Today, you walk into the champion! <laughs> All right. Pablo, you want to say something? Today, you play a game. We are going to play a game today. <laughs> no, I, have a good, I have a good one. Today, you are getting older. <laughs> All right. I have another one. Go ahead. Today, you get one year older. One day older. One day older. <laughs> but also... Did he say Be undefeated. Day? Well, okay. So, guys, Wait, no, let's hang on. One hang on. Where Angela, one more, and then we got to wrap it up. Go, because it's not fifty-five Today. minutes with Dad. Today, you are painting. <laughs> All right. So, guys, hang on, hang on, hang on. We got to wrap this up. So, this is why we did the show. So, everybody. So, hang on. So, what I want, I want everybody who's listening, send a tweet at the number five minutes with Dad or connect with us on Facebook. Hello. 
And tell us one of the things that you loved from this year. It doesn't have to be the number one thing, but just something you did that made you guys have fun together as a family that you loved in 2019. And then next week, we might talk about something we're looking forward to in 2020, something we're planning to make 2020 amazing. So everybody, thank you for listening to 5 Minutes with Dan. Thank you for listening to 5 Minutes with Dad.com. What about the Adios. resource of the week? Slash Elf. <laughs> 5 Minutes with Dad.com slash Adios. Elf. Ba 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 ba. Bye. Thank you for listening to 5 Minutes with Dad. To connect with Pavlos, Angela, and Nick, subscribe to the 5 Minutes with Dad newsletter at 5 Minutes with Dad.com.